Welcome back to another video of the last of Evie Pink. Now today I thought it'd be fun to show you how I edit my YouTube channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. So here is my computer, and here are some of the videos I'm working on. So here is some of the ones I've been doing just. This was my fire surprise video. And this was uh, a Roblox video that was Overlook Bay with Jess, and that was like an Obby with Jess. But I always save these ones, and I always have them. But then what you do is you create a new movie. And it's really fun to create a new movie. And you go down, and I've got all of these things. And yes, this is really cute. Um, Ace was doing some poses for me. It was very, very cute. Ace doing some poses. Um, but what you also need to do is I always do this. So I go to my movie and I import. And then I've got all these things like the Roblox sign if I need it and like my logo. So that's my YouTube logo and then that's my big logo. And you might know if I import that now, you might recognise that what I do is the beginning of my videos, I put that on. I put it for a certain amount of time that I want because I don't want it very long. And then I fit it so that it's all big. I go to audio, so then in iMovie, which is what I prefer and I like, is that it has all these different categories, but you can use music, which isn't copyright, and you can actually use them. But not only can you use all of iMovie's options, and you might recognise this one, if you recognise that. That is the beginning of... My videos and the end of my videos it's the one i really like to use which is travel and there's lots of others like simple playful news if you wanted to do a breaking news neon modern and bright so there's lots of different types and then you've got you can make your own mu music or something like such up and then you've got garage band so maybe if you like if you were to have maybe the app garage band which i know i really like you can make your own theme songs and music and put them in over there which are lots of different ways which you can add music to it and be really fun so that's sort of the thing that i do and that's the thing that i enjoy to do so what also you do is what i do so i go to my i've got mine little there and i've got it there so then if i go to audio and i go to and there's also sound effects so not only have you got that is you can go to like all different things and you can also have like sounds so like say that it was like you wanted a beep sound or a roar you could have all of those different things which would be really good too and you can get titles so this is how i like want to say bye or hi you've got all the different types you got like this title when you got like text in it that like, pops up and then and then you've got like all different types and you've got like flashes so that's like that's the one i like to use most and then if I want to put something up in the video, I use like soft light bar, you've got cloud, you've got like this sort of thing that they use in Star Wars or something. So there's lots and lots of different types of things and you just drag them and then I'll just do this for example. I don't really need to use it, but this is just an example video to show you what I do. And then I just double click, I double click on there and then I can just say what I want. So normally I say bye or I might say hi, maybe I want to highlight that, click on that. And then I've got like colour so I can make it a different colour, I want it. So that's kind of what I do. And so then I just, if I want to, add the music, travel. And I put that down here. And sometimes like I can make it quieter or higher or louder. And then I can detach them. For now I don't really need that. And then what I do is if I want to... And these are all of my photos and these are all of the videos I've recently taken that I can just plop down. And these are like things. And before this video, I filmed a test run. And also what I do is if I want to, I can go to photos. And so this is a thing, so I tell you how to do it. So if I go to this, also something I do is I collect my iPhones with a wire and then I've got it. And so then I import all of my photos from my phone and then what I do is I use them and I click them onto iMovie which is the way I do it, it's not the way everyone has to do it and it's just something that I like to do and I like to just do it and so now I've got them that I've imported all my photos, these are the test videos and I've got other videos and this is 
Uh, I was just editing them both together. This is actually the one I was just filming because I was editing them together. So you got my screen recording. And so that's if I want to play Roblox in my video or show you my iMovie, I can screen record and show you all of the details and it's really fun. And if you see up here, I've got a little button where I can stop screen recording and then I use QuickTime Player to screen record. If I wanted to screen record, I use QuickTime Player here at the bottom. I use iMove to do that. Here's Roblox and, you know, all of the things I use. Photos. I use a lot of different systems to edit my iMovie. I edit my videos. So I use QuickTime Player to screen record. I use iMovie to edit them. And I use photos to import by my camera using my phone. And there's one more so thing that I do do to help with my videos. But I will show you that at the very end. So what I do is now I go to iMovie and that will be on my photos. So it just like takes a while to load. So if I just click there and I click on the photos and I go all the way down. Um, there they are. So this is my test video as I filmed just before this video just to double check all of the sound. So what I do is I've got my uh, things that I filmed, right? But the thing is, sometimes it's not very loud. So you can't hear me uh, very clear. So what I do is to make my sound louder is I click on it and I detach audio. I then can do it all the way up high and you can hear me easily. This is a test video for the Life of Evie Pink Spy Movie Editing Station video. It's a test video so that you know. So that's that. And then I've got one more that I just did to show you just a little bit because then you can like add them in and then different shots and it's very it's handy it's the second one so that you know that so i've got all of that and then i can just add in photos and all of that add in photos add in music so basically that is what i do for my first thing now what i also do is i can make a thumbnail which is the bit i wanted to show you most of all well not most of all but i wanted to show you technically really well so what i do is I have another app which helps me with my thumbnails and I know lots of people use different thumbnail apps, different editing apps and every app is has their own way and every YouTuber has their own way of editing them, doing them and I think it's very very clever and it's really fun. And another thing when you can do is when you detach audio is if you want to you can delete that but if you do it you undo it and then you can delete this but the audio, but you need to have a screen record on it to be able to do that, which is what I do. So if I have a screen record, like so, I add this, and this is how I do my videos uh, when I detach audio, so you can hear me. But what I also do is I do picture on picture. So now you can see me and that, which is what I do for a lot of my gaming videos, or maybe when I did my tier list. So it's a very, very useful um, way of iMovie and I think it's a very one of my favourite things but what you can also do is delete the photo and now you have the sound but you don't have the photo which is what I'm going to do for this video because I want you to be able to see the whole image not just like so you don't have to just see me I want you to see the whole image of editing and just my sound which is the way I want to do this video it's just the way I chose to do it so basically that's another tactic for iMovie which is really cool so that's another thing I can do and the other thing I was going to show you is that the app I use is GIMP so you may have heard of GIMP and you may have not heard of GIMP so if you haven't heard of GIMP and it's just loading up it's this format where you can post like paste different images to one image add titles and that's how I get my thumbnails going so it's just loading onto it now it just takes a little while because I've got a lot of tabs open to show you. Okay, so this is GIMP. So these are all the features that you can use with GIMP. So GIMP is a very useful thing. So I have a lot of things and so you click open and here is my desktop and these are all the things from my photos to all the things I download. So here, let's just show you for something. This was my Roblox symbol and I'll just show you how I made my Candyland thing. So that this this um, thumbnail is for my newest video uh, when I played Candyland with Jess. Well, what I did is I went on Safari and I searched up 
the new escape room on Roblox Candyland. I also searched up the Roblox symbol. And then I posted that and a photo of me. And then I added a text. And I kind of like added them all together. So that's something I need to show you. So how I actually did that was if I go on here, go to desktop. Here I'll just use a simple thing. I'll use... And this one I can't really um, do. So here was my Overlook Bay. So if I have Overlook Bay, if I go to image at the top here, and I go to scale image, I can make it bigger. So I can make it, well, let's say 600, and this is just for the video, 600, and I made it much, much bigger, which means that you can see it clearly with the thumbnail, and it's all perfection. So that's that part, and that's how I edit that. But now if I wanted to post something else onto that, maybe like a title. So if I just do this, I can make a text box and I can write, how about, hi. Because I don't really know what else. And I can make the font different by like searching up different fonts. So something beginning with A, these are all different fonts I can use. And it's really cool. And then you can highlight them, make that bigger here. Uh, or you can change your colour. So I can change it to... Uh, like teal or something like that and it just changes the colour of the text so if I want a different colour just not white if I want to mix it up a little bit I can use that and I think it's a very cool way but the next way is to transmit them so if I open up another image I'll just put the one of me with my thumbs up I then have it and I convert it so now I have my image and I copy it so I go to image, no I go to edit and I go to copy. And now also I can make it smaller but for now I'm just going to show you. I then go to edit and I go to paste. And now it's on there and I know it's a little big so what you can always do is go back. Which is something I really like. So if I went to here, I go to image and I go to scale image, I can make it smaller. So you see that's quite high. If I was to make it 110 for instance it goes way down and then I can do it again edit wait no not edit paste whoops that's kind of cool. um, weird um, and then if I go to edit copy edit paste there's a small image of me and if I click on here I can move it around to what I like so there you can see I add lots of different images and add the different things now here is the tricky part. How do I, how do you say it, upload my videos onto YouTube? Well, if I click on Safari here and I search up YouTube, here is YouTube. And you go, if I want to, I go to my channel, so the life of Evie Pink, and as you can see here, I've got my uploads. So I've got, you know, me and Jess May and I've look there, I've got uploads and all of that. And this is something I wanted to talk to you about. It's also my customising channel. So I can customise channel. If I click on customise channel, it goes to Studio YouTube, which is something that YouTube has to offer, which is really good. So here, I can have some video spotlights. So if someone hasn't seen my channel before, um, I can recommend The Life of Evie Pink, the trailer I made. And if someone has seen it, I could just pick a very popular video maybe I want them to watch. So, chilling on Roblox Adopt Me with my friends. And then I can have sections. So, obviously, you're always going to have the upload section. In every YouTube you make, it's not something you edit. It's always there so that you can always see the updates. But something else I want to add is maybe the popular uploads. So, it's something that's randomly selected because of all the things that you know, that all the uploads have been popular. So maybe the ones that have more views or more thumbs up, those are the ones that will click onto popular uploads. And then I can create my own playlist, which I think is really cool. So here's create a playlist, here's some like Roblox obbies I made, Roblox uh, hanging out with friends, gaming, and my video with Jess. So that's something I can do. I can also add a playlist. So if I want to, I go to playlist, and here are all my playlists, I can create new playlist. And I'm just going to do this for my video and then I'm going to delete it. But for instance, if I wanted to do the playlist um, editing, so maybe if I wanted to do more editing videos, um, kind of in spell, 
um, I could create and make it public. So if I created, here we are, a new video editing, and if I was to create a video, I could then, if I go onto videos, I'll just go into my content, and I'll just pick a random video for now. So I go to details, and if something, if I've uploaded something, and then I don't really like it, I can change it up. And also something it does, if you don't want to just upload your thumbnail, you can have different options that it chooses you up when you've uploaded. And sometimes I use that if I don't have an upload, like I have here. Um, and then you can go to playlists. You can click on a playlist, so I'm going to find editing. I'm going to go to done. And I'm going to save it. So now it's in my new playlist. And that's how I do it. But obviously I don't really want it in that playlist. So if I go to playlist, I can delete playlist. Um, uh, delete. Delete playlist. So you go to edit. Uh, what do I do? I don't think I've actually done this. But I think there's a way. Yes, you can delete your playlist. So if I go to playlist once again. And I'll... Go back, here's my channel again, and I go to customize channel. So, obviously, I'm going back to Studio YouTube, and then I go to create a playlist. Editing. I can then, hopefully, delete it. Ah, here we go. Uh, remove from editing. So now I can remove it, go to editing, and I can maybe up do it see I just want to delete a playlist so you can delete the playlist obviously if I'm not able to hopefully I am able to if not you know that playlist is for this video don't you so there you go it's really really simple and I really enjoy it see if you've got no videos it probably won't show up see if I go to playlists yeah it doesn't show up so that's really good so that's how you do that but how you say, how do I upload a video? So here, if I just go to here, I'll save it as editing video. Editing video. So now I've got my editing video. And then I can share it to my file. And then I'll just save it as editing video. And I can save it to my documents or desktop or whatever I want to save it as. So if I save that. If you can see here, there's a little circle, which is uploading. So once that's uploaded, I will carry on the video. Okay, so now it see it's uploaded and it's exported. So if I go to YouTube and I can go to create upload video. So now I'm uploading my video and I select a file. So here, and it's gonna be on documents, I'm pretty sure. And I go to, what was it called again? Editing video. And I can choose for upload. And then that video is now uploading. And I can put a title. I'm just going to put edit. Because edit. Edit. Because, you know, and then it goes up at the top, obviously. And then you can put a description. So that's my description. I'm describing my video. So, yeah, you just describe your video, you know. I'll put, like, um, in this video, I edit. And obviously, I don't really care about the capitals because this is just to show you how it is. Like, saving draft. Yeah, I'm drafting it. Um, and then, what you can do is for right now, I'm going to go to GIMP. And, you know, that's my uh, thumbnail. I can export as. And I can save it. So, I save that and I export it. But for now, I'm just going to use one I don't need. Because that was just to show it because I'm not going to export that because... For me, this one doesn't allow you to export it. For some reason, I think it's to do with the web. So if I just go randomly, that's an adopt me one I chose. You can choose for the thumbnail. So that could be the thumbnail um, if I wanted to. And I'm just going to pick that. Um, and then I can obviously select a playlist editing if I wanted to. But I'm not going to because I don't want to do that. But, and I always put it's made for kids because it's always made for you. And then, if you see here, you can do if you've got paid in motion, any tags, anything else. And if you want to do any, like, you know, links, you can put them here, post them in the description. And obviously, and then see at the bottom, it says two minutes until it's uploaded. I have to be really quick, 55 seconds, because I don't want it to upload. So you can go public, or you can schedule it for a certain time. And you can schedule it. 
But obviously this is a draft. I don't want to do it. Because I don't want to do it. Um, cancel upload. Because obviously I don't want it to be on YouTube. Because I was just showing it to you. See so there you go. So that's how I edit my videos. I really hope you enjoyed it. But there's one more thing I wanted to show you. If I go to my video. Um, oh that's the dashboard. Uh, just go to my channel. Um, if I go to my channel. I wanted to show you an extra thing. And this is. If you notice at the very bottom. It's something called featured. So there are two channels I've put on there. And they are. Channel. So this is Kestis Forest, my dad's YouTube channel. And so if you were to click on that, you will go to my dad's channel. And that's something I thought was really, really clever. So, and then here's another one, Bumble Sisters, um, which is my friend's YouTube channel. And obviously, please make sure to go to their channel, subscribe to them, and hit the thumbs up to them, and hit the bell so they always know when they have any video up. So, what you can do to add a featured, if I go to edit... Edit channel, edit channel, how do I edit channel? I'm so, how do I not know? Um, edit channel, um, uh, edit, 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 your videos. Ah, uh, here we go, edit. So I'm editing up now, and if I wanted to, I go to, um, playlist, so that's that. But this is where I go to. Um, nope, I always forget how I do this, I always do it, but, oh yeah, so I go to, um, uh, customization, why do I always forget that, um, but here's featured channels, and there's two, so if I wanted to, edit section I could search up a channel see so if I search up mine I'm obviously not going to feature it because this is mine I have EV pink just roughly oh section title um see the life of EV pink see there's my channel and I would add it to that see there so that's how I do it. So that's it. So I really hope you enjoyed my video. Please make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hit the bell so you always know if I have a new video. And give this video a thumbs up. I really hope you enjoyed seeing how I edited it. And it was a lot of fun. So bye pink stars.